Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog and welcome to the first official vlog of our moving and moving out series and home decor series, I guess you could say. Um, but we are officially moving out and today is our first day of apartment hunting. And it's very exciting because me and Steven have never done this before. We have lived at home for our whole lives. So this is definitely like a big step and a very exciting chapter in our life. So I'm very excited to take you guys along. So like I said, today is our first official day of hunting. So hopefully it goes well. We have three showings today, I think. Is that correct, Steven? Three? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's three showings today. Um, I definitely have my preference in which ones I want. Um, they're all really cute and all really beautiful in the photos, so hopefully they're great in person. So yeah, I thought I would just bring you guys along on the vlogs because I think it would be super interesting and super helpful to show you guys what it's like to move out and the reality of it. And I think it's just gonna be a really fun chapter in our life and we're obviously gonna do the whole moving in process. We'll be vlogging everything. Um, this is literally like the first day we're doing it. It's officially the start. So I'm a total newbie. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, so I'm gonna definitely show you guys all the mistakes I make and the reality of moving out. So yeah, we're super excited. We're headed to our first viewing now um, and I'll see you guys when we get there. The closet, actually. So this would be the main bedroom and then that would be your office. Mm -hmm. would be yeah. What's the square footage? So we are currently at the first apartment building and he's showing us like a ton of different um, units in the building. Um, so we're currently on the third unit in the first building and it's nice, but I'm not sure if it's exactly what we're looking for, but it definitely is cute. I like the island. I like how big the island is. Yeah, that's true. But I like how white the, the kitchen is in this closet space. I like the bathroom. Okay, so we just got out of three point two oh. kilometers. Take exit. Okay. Um, so we just got out of the first <laughs> apartment complex, and we checked out about three units from the same like apartment building, and we liked it. Stephen really liked it. It was cool. I liked it. Yeah, Stephen liked it. Um, but there was a few things that were kind of not what I wanted, I guess. So we'll see. It was definitely a good option, but we're gonna check out the next place. So the next showing is at one. 1 o'clock, 1.30, 1 o'clock. So we have about an hour until our next showing. So we're gonna actually go to the next building complex and kind of walk around that area and see if we like it. Because we'll be moving to a completely new area. So we're gonna go get like a coffee around the building and like kind of just check out In the scene and see if we like it. So yeah, we're just gonna go get a Starbucks or a coffee, check out the area, see if we like the area, and then head into the building when it's 1 o'clock. Okay, so we're now at Whole Foods getting some Stunning Queen lunch. And um, the apartment complex is right near the Whole Foods, which is Stunning Queen. We love Whole Foods, so that's a definitely a bonus for this apartment. Um, and our showing's in like half an hour, so it's perfect timing. We're just gonna finish eating our lunch and then head over there. And you guys, I got the Yerba Mate. If you guys know on Instagram, if you know, you know. Yerba Mate's are Stunning Queen and they have them here at this Whole Foods, so it's dangerous. <laughs> okay, so we just left the second apartment building and it was so stunning queen you guys It's my favorite so far. I'm really crossing my fingers on that one because the views insane I posted some photos on Instagram too and you guys are all freaking out about it So I'll insert the photos or like the videos of the view because I couldn't really get that much vlog footage in that one because I don't know, I just didn't. We were focusing on asking all the questions, but um, yeah, I really like that one. And now we randomly decided to stop on the side of the road to a different apartment complex because Steven really wanted to see this one, but there are actually no units available online. So we decided we're just gonna like go to the apartment and see for ourselves and like see if there's like a building manager we could talk to. So Steven is currently checking right now. And then we have our next showing in about an hour. 840? 840? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite deep, actually. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Yo, that's actually cool. <laughs> yeah. That is really cool. Oh, I love that. That is cool. Yep. Vacations, I think, might be required. They're high-end appliances. I can drink with, like, uh, mm -hmm. like, gagging on. It's really good. Okay, so we just left the fourth 
viewing and it was good but it wasn't exactly what we were looking for in like the colorways the walls were black which is like doesn't work for me um so i we just like passed on that one and we're not even gonna think about it but we actually ended up really liking the second viewing that we saw which i spoke about a little bit earlier in the vlog i really liked it um so we applied for it and now we just kind of have to wait and see so our fingers are crossed we sent in everything we need to send in and now we just have to kind of wait and see from the property manager at the building so yeah we are pretty much just waiting for our approval and then yeah that's i guess we'll take it from there so i guess our next step is to move out of my current place which is my mom's house so we need to go and get some boxes to pack everything up if we get approved at this place we pretty much get to move in um within the next two weeks so it's going to go by pretty fast i'm not sure if that's going to be in this vlog or it's going to be in the next vlog um but that's definitely the next steps once we get approved so yeah i'll definitely keep you guys updated on this vlog um on our approval and see if everything goes to plan fingers crossed okay hi guys it is a few days later but i decided i'm going to pick up the vlog again because um, the moving saga has continued. So this morning we actually heard back from the apartment that we ended up applying for and we actually just got approved today, which is so exciting. So we officially have our apartment. Um, the documentation and like the leasing stuff isn't signed yet, obviously, because we just got approved this morning um, and it's now the weekend. So we're not gonna get to sign it until probably Monday or Tuesday. But it's still super exciting because we got approved and we got the unit that we applied for, the exact one, our dream apartment here in Vancouver. Vancouver, so we're so excited to be officially moving now so I guess it was kind of cool that you guys got to see the process of us looking at different apartments and I feel like it seems like it went by really fast because we only showed four on the vlog um, but we did look at other places and we did look at um, other things but I didn't really vlog that many of them because honestly you can't really vlog too many things of an apartment and I feel like it could get pretty repetitive so I feel like it felt pretty fast on this vlog but trust me it's not that easy to find a good apartment anyways I decided I'm gonna pick up the vlog today because it is the weekend and I am currently officially starting to pack up all my clothes today so I am going to Home Depot I actually just pulled up at Home Depot right now and I'm gonna buy a ton of boxes to pack all of my things in and I also have to get packing tape to tape up the boxes so that is the first thing on my agenda today this is how I'm spending my Saturday I am packing up all of my shit in my room so I'll obviously show you guys the situation back at my place and like how I'm gonna organize and pack everything but I thought I'd bring you guys to Home Depot because it is the first probably of many trips to Home Depot for this moving vlog Okay, so I need to get a ton of boxes. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna get the medium size and the large size, cause you don't want them to get too heavy when you're like moving around. So I think I'm gonna need like four of these and four of those. They're super affordable. And I also need to get some packing tape, so I'll probably get like the little gun guy and then some extra tape, so I'll probably need it. Okay, so I don't know if I've showed you guys my closet. Probably in some of the vlogs you guys have seen it, but I've never done like an official like closet tour or anything. But pretty much this is my first closet at my mom's house, but I've actually taken over my sister's room. And that has become like my second closet because as you can tell, I clearly can't fit in my closet in my room. <laughs> so I guess my first challenge is going to be tackling this closet because this is kind of like my everyday clothes. That's like my denim and my sweatpants and my hoodies and like kind of the stuff that I gravitate towards most. So I keep that in here and then more of like the specialty items and like the more expensive pieces and that kind of stuff are in my sister's room. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is pretty much organize every box and I'm going to put firstly the stuff that I'm bringing directly to the apartment. That is the first box I'm gonna do. And then the other box are gonna be like donation or storage or what I'm gonna sell and that's how I'm gonna kind of organize it and I'm just gonna like label each box um, so yeah the first boxes I'm gonna do are the ones that are gonna go directly to the apartment Good 
Good morning guys, so it is the next day and today we are going to Ikea, which is so fun. We have a full shopping day at Ikea, which obviously we're doing like a ton of online shopping too and that kind of stuff, but Ikea is always a good place to go to like find knickknacks and just like basics that are more affordable um, because we're obviously not gonna splurge on every furniture piece in our apartment. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Ikea today and just kind of check out what they have and compare to what I've seen online. We might not get like a ton of things today just because we're just started shopping and I don't wanna just like buy the first thing I see. Um, but I definitely will get some like kitchenware and like basic things that are just like easy to like get more affordable versions of because just why splurge on like a knife or a fork? I guess you have to splurge on a knife. I mean, we don't cook those. We so. don't cook that much. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to splurge on But anything. we're going to cook. So we have to splurge yeah. on like certain things or like get quality of certain things. But like, I feel like forks, like you really just can go to Ikea. You know what I mean? Anyways, we're about to leave now. I just picked Steven up, made him some breakfast because I'm girlfriend of the year. She made me a bagel. Made him a bagel and cream cheese. Thank you, baby. And we're gonna go to Ikea now. So we'll see you guys when we get there. First though, we had to get the coffee. Secured <laughs> the goods. Emma always orders extra hot and I don't get it. It's like her. Uh, you guys, it's life hack. If you're a slow drinker, order extra hot and then your drink will last but that's super long. Why, that's why you're a slow drinker because you can't no, drink it. No, I just have always been a slow drinker hot. and I would last a long time instead of going like cold within half an hour. Okay, we're gonna go to Ikea now. Okay, so we just got to Ikea. We got our cart and we're ready to shop. How many are you gonna need? Mm, Six times. Probably what? like 50. There's eight in it. Eight in the pack, so. so I got like seven. Eight times seven. How many left? One. Okay, one, two, Four, five, three. Six. six times six is thirty. Six. It's better if you don't do math oh, wait, on camera. Eight. What's six times eight? Fifty-six. 56 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven. Eight yeah. times eight is forty-eight. So let's just get eight. That's not even enough. Eight times eight is forty-eight. Six. Eight is 48. Six times six is thirty-six. Yeah. So. Yeah. Eight times eight is forty-eight. Sixty-four. Shit. Okay. I never knew how many options of pans you could buy, <laughs> but I feel like we're gonna go with the silver. Looks cool, but I also like the black, like the all black. But then also the white looks cute, but I wish that the handle wasn't brown. Because we're not really going with the wood, right? Yo, I don't know shit about cooking, but I'm pretty sure like the different colors makes a difference, right? Because like the no material, like, no the idea. black and the silver, it's like different. Okay, we're trying to decide which knife oh, and fork and spoon set we want. One. And we literally can't decide. We've never different. been so confused in our life. There are so many options. But Steven likes this one. Sedlig. Sedlig. Yeah, I like this one for a minute. <laughs> But then it's got like There's bubbles no chance we're in the handle. There's just no chance. I didn't see that, but I saw the, I saw that, and I was like, so that's not bad. We like this one. It's just yeah. basic, but that's all we need. Okay, update. So we have been here for about 45 minutes now, and I'll show you guys an update on our cart. Okay, so we pretty much went through like the kitchen section and got like all of our mugs, or like most of our mugs. We got some cups, we got some kitchen, random kitchen stuff that honestly we probably don't need that much of, but we did anyways. We literally got these aesthetically pleasing um, shot glasses. Um, we don't even drink that often, but when our friends come over and we have little parties, we'll have aesthetically pleasing shot glasses. Um, we also got little cat food trays for Pippa. And then we got some towels. Um, we literally got so many hangers I can't deal. Um, we got a little plumber thing for the for the bathrooms, and then we got some knives. That's pretty much what we have so far. I'll probably do like a full haul afterwards, but so far so good. Am I right, Steve? Stuff We're kind of killing it. Steve, how you doing? I'm good. <laughs> These carts have a mind of their own. It's really hard to steer, so Steven's in charge. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we just got back from Ikea and I thought I would give you guys a little haul. I was gonna do it on stories, but I thought I would save it for the vlog because you guys are the real ones. Okay, so the first thing we got are towels. And honestly, they have really good towels at Ikea. They're obviously not like the most high quality towels, but they're cute and they're affordable. And I go through towels like crazy, so I'd rather just buy them at Ikea. Um, so we just got like two big towels and then like a couple of face towels and a hand towel By the way, this is in no particular order It's just really random because it's like all in a bag. But anyways, the next thing we got are cat bowls and um, We're obviously taking Pippa with us to our apartment So we got some cute white aesthetic cat bowls, which my mom just informed me that we need metal bowls because it's better for animals so I don't even know if we're gonna be using these so I bought them anyways next thing we got are dishwasher cleaners or whatever What do you call these dish cleaners dish what brushes? I don't know They're called brushes babe. brushes dish brushes. Okay. Well, Emma whatever doesn't do dishes, so she wouldn't know. <laughs> He just said if Emma doesn't do dishes, so she wouldn't know but yeah, they are dishwasher cleaner brushes thingies We got two of them white obviously Okay, and then next we got some reusable Tupperwares. We tried not to get as much plastic as possible, so we got some glass jars for Tupperwares for like leftovers and whatnot in the fridge. Um, I thought they were cute with like the wood lid. Next, we got these adorable glasses, which I showed on Instagram stories if you guys were watching stories during this real time. I don't know if I showed on the vlog, but we got these like vintage looking cups and I think they're so cute. I think that'll be really cute for cocktails and also just like water or like any drink you want. But we got four of those. I just think that it's such a cute... Um, style of a glass and I feel like they're just like look really expensive, but they were like three dollars Then next we got this drainer, which I thought was adorable um, I'm going for like a very kind of like vintage modern look I guess you could say so I thought this was very cute and vintage and it looked like you could almost like thrift shop this It just was really cute and like I just like it. So anyway, super random but got that and then next up we got some knives which is obviously kind of Boring, but we had to get knives for the kitchen. So we got a big one a little one and also we got a bread knife But I don't know where it is and then next up we got some jars Which is kind of random, but I'm gonna do what like Khloe Kardashian does and she stacks cookies in her jars And it looks really aesthetic and cute I also think it'd be really cute to put like white gumballs or like I don't know something like cute and not tacky Obviously, but I just like the idea of like filling up some jars with like cookies or treats for like when guests come over and just like Make it aesthetic. I don't know. I thought that was cute and there was two jars that looked like they'd be cute together so got those next i got a jar for our water in our fridge like i said we're gonna try to avoid using as much plastic as possible so we got some glass <laughs> is that pip on the background <laughs> steven's playing with pip on the background if you can tell <laughs> um anyways we just got this for water like a water jug in the fridge to keep our water cold i thought it was really cute next up super boring but we got like a toilet plunger because you know Adulting and then next up I got some candles and this is like an Ikea life hack you guys these candles are so good They are the Sinlig candles That's the name of it right there. I don't know what I was focusing. Yeah, those are the candles right there. They're the best smelling candles they're vanilla, they're so good, and they're so cheap. I think they're $1.99 each. They come in a bigger size and a smaller size, and if you take off like all of the wrapping, it actually looks very expensive, and it smells very expensive. So life hack if you don't want to spend too much on candles, because obviously they can get super expensive. Um, you just get these and put them around your house, and it just looks very aesthetic and on a budget. And then next up, I got two mugs, obviously for me and Steven, because there's only two of us living in the house or in the apartment, so I didn't want to get too many like cups and stuff, even though we will have guests over, but I just got two mugs um, for our coffee in the morning. I thought the clear glass mug was really, really cute. Um, so I really like that, and I like the size of them because we love our coffee. We're gonna need big mugs. And then on the theme of mugs, I also got two like teacup mugs that I also thought were really cute. I love this style with like the matching plate. I think it's very like European and like British. I love that and like it's just very, is it European, right? To have what? the plate underneath the mug? I don't know. I think, I think it is. I don't know. In like South Africa, everyone very, serves yeah. coffee with this as well. So when we were in South Africa, I just like, it reminded me how much I loved um, coffee being served with a little plate. Anyways, I saw this and I thought it was so cute. So I had to get it. I got two of those, one for Steve and one for me. 
<laughs> okay, ne next up, I got a bowl for fruit, which it's very specific that I bought this for fruit, but I think it's such a cute bowl to have like lemons and like fresh fruit on the kitchen counter and stuff. So I just got like a big white bowl, super basic. I'll probably go back for a second one because I just like like the size and the look of it. And then we also got a set of knives, forks, spoons, all of that jazz. We got six of each, so plenty for ourselves and guests. Um, it actually took us a very long time to pick out the set. You guys, like, you guys saw earlier in the vlog, or maybe I think I showed it, but, um, we literally didn't realize how many different shapes and materials and, like, vibes came with forks and knives and, like, sets like this. So, we were very overwhelmed with how many options there were, but we ended up going with the Martorp, whatever that is. And then we also got some more glasses. Um, so we got these ones here. I don't know if I can show you the actual glasses. Oh yeah. So they're so cute. Also very vintage looking like the first ones I showed you. But I just like love the style of these. It kind of looks like an ice cream, like an ice cream jar. I don't know what reminds me of that. But I just think that like these two glasses paired together are so freaking cute. Super vintage looking. Um, and also very affordable. I'm pretty sure it was like maybe eight bucks for the four of them and then we also got these glasses too which i can't take out of its case but they're just like striped and like normal shaped cups but so we have like those three sets of cups and i think we'll be like fine with that and then last but not least we ended up getting some pans and again i did not realize how many options came with pans but we ended up purchasing the all silver ones i don't know why it's not opening but pretty much it's like this silver but like around the entire thing um, I'm pretty sure they're non-stick and we got two different sizes and yeah, pretty basic, but we thought they were cute. I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. So yeah, that was our mini Ikea haul. We are definitely going to be doing more of these. I'm sure this is literally like just some knickknacks and like basics we needed to just kind of stock the kitchen and like the bathroom and like random things here and there um but i'm sure we'll be doing more ikea hauls in the future so yeah now as an update with the whole moving thing um we actually have to sign the lease today or tomorrow and then we're going to be getting the keys this coming week um which hopefully we can start moving in this week which is super exciting i don't think moving in is going to be a part of this vlog but um everything up until getting the keys i think this is going to be the vlog so yeah, now I'm just going to continue packing up all my clothes into the boxes. As you guys saw in the vlog yesterday, um, you guys saw me packing up my room. Um, I'm just going to continue doing that until it's done. That is like the biggest challenge out of this whole moving process is doing my clothing, honestly, because that's like the most stuff I have. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue doing that tonight and tomorrow. And then I will see you guys when I have an update. Hi guys, so it has been a few days and I just wanted to kind of update you guys on my progress so far. So from the last clips, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys I cleaned out my closet or I was like in the middle of cleaning my closet. And as you can tell, I have kind of taken out all the clothes from my closet and put them into different boxes and kind of just like organized all of the clothing um, into separate piles and boxes and all that kind of good stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys the update. So as you can tell, all of my clothes are gone. I have a few little stragglers here and there that I have to put into bins, but for the most part, I'm pretty much good in here. And then over here in my living room, I have a ton of boxes that um, are filled up to the top. So I'll show you guys that as well. So pretty much I have all of the boxes that I'm gonna be bringing directly to the apartment. So I have a box full of hangers, which I ordered a ton of wood ones and velvet ones online that I should talk to you guys about earlier in the vlog, but these are the ones from my closet before that are just kind of like cheap plastic ones from Walmart, which I'm not gonna throw them away. I'm gonna obviously recycle them or figure out a use for them I guess um, anyways the rest of the boxes are like shoes um, I have like random stuff over here sweatpants got a box of jeans um, a ton of more clothes got some of the hangers um, and I pretty much kind of labeled each box so as you can tell over here hold on. yeah so I've like pretty much just labeled each box and this is 
my progress so far. Also, an update on the apartment. So we are actually picking up our keys tomorrow afternoon, which is Wednesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. So we're picking up our keys Wednesday afternoon. Um, but I'm actually gonna end this vlog here and then start up the next vlog tomorrow when we go pick up our keys. And I'll probably give you guys like an empty apartment tour and like all that good stuff. So, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for that in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, I guess that is it for this vlog. And um, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.